welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new series I'm starting on my channel which is Angular 14. Just like how we did for Angular 10, end to end we covered around 80-84 uh, episodes in Angular 10 series which covered from ground zero to advanced use cases. The same we'll do here but not the repetition. We will do a brand new app, brand new examples and brand new use cases. So I'm sure you can learn everything about Angular 14 even if you are a fresher or a beginner. Let's get started with today's episode which is basic introduction of Angular. We'll talk about the framework and much more. Before we get started, I'll recommend you that you bookmark this URL so that you get access to the complete full tutorial playlist. Also, if you have any doubts, if you need any job support, technical help or training, reach out to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. If you like my work in this series, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so I'll continue making an index so that you know all the topics that we have covered. Also, you can refer to this index whenever you need any help in future. All right, so now let's talk about Angular. So the first and foremost question that comes uh, to our mind in this particular series is what exactly is Angular? Is it a language? Is it a framework? What is it? This question is the first thing that you will be asked in any interview or even if you are an existing Angular developer, you should know how to explain what is Angular. Angular is a front-end framework that makes it easy to build applications for both web or mobile apps. It's an open source project but primarily sponsored and maintained by Google. Google is a modern framework which is built entirely on TypeScript language. Now what is TypeScript? TypeScript is a language from Microsoft which is an object-oriented extension to JavaScript. Angular documentation has beautiful documentation support. It supports TypeScript and which is a first-class citizen but uses it as a primary language. So do you need to spend separate time learning TypeScript? I don't say so because you can learn it on the job with Angular. All right. It's if you know JavaScript, a lot of things will know. If you know object oriented programming, you would find a lot of common things in TypeScript like classes, inheritance, uh, constructor, methods, invoking those methods, etc. Now let's talk about some of the features that you want to explain when somebody asks you what are the features of Angular. Angular has an exceptional scaling and performance. You have cross-platform support, which means you can write applications for mobile, web, and desktop. Angular provides, it builds a single page application. That means once you build an Angular application, it would spit out an index.html, and then you have the JS files. The JS files are compiled, transpiled from TypeScript into JavaScript, which browser understands. Angular supports TypeScript, so that's the language we will primarily code in. It has a lot of declarative templates. That means our HTML is segregated and separated out from the logic. So you have separate CSS, separate HTML, separate TS file, which is the basic uh, fundamental where you write a component or a class. Angular supports dependency injection, which means when you write services, you can reuse them using dependency injection. So you don't have to rewrite those services again. Angular supports end-to-end -end tooling. That means you can write unit tests and you can write um, all the all the testing pieces can also be stitched together inside Angular itself. Now Angular provides the beautiful beauty of modulus architecture, which means everything we will do, we will write modules. And that's how it is easy to maintain, easy to scale. Finally, the builds are really small once you compile it. So these are the top level features when you have to discuss or describe them. Now, little bit of technical overview, like what all we will be covering as part of our learning series. What are the important pieces of Angular or the building blocks of Angular? I told you Angular is a modular architecture, which means we will have a lot of modules that we'll work with, right? We will have a lot of components which belong to certain modules. In Angular 14, the new edition is the standalone components. So we will learn about them as well. Then we have templates, services, interpolation, data binding, directives, pipes, routing, HTTP and testing. So these are all the components that make up Angular framework and we will be covering all of these from basic to advanced. 
All right, so now why you should learn Angular 14? Now, if you want to work on mean stack, right? Mean stands for MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node. The A in that stands for Angular. Now, you want to learn because it's hot in market. There's a lot of jobs. It pays well in the market. Second, third reason is that you already know JavaScript and by that you also know TypeScript little bit because it's an extension of JavaScript. You put the object oriented around JavaScript. So if you already know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you can easily jump start your journey with Angular. Now, since it's from Google, it's here to stay. That means it's reliable, it's not going anywhere, and it's here for long term. So you can pick it up, learn it, and you can be a valuable resource in your team for a very long time. All right, so that being said, that completes our introduction. If you have any questions, reach out to me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. In the next episode, we will talk a little bit about version history and releases. Again, this doesn't have any practical knowledge as such, but this is from purely from your knowledge. And also, if you're preparing for an interview, you will find this very, very helpful to explain the to the interviewer. You should know this knowledge, so join me in the next episode. We'll briefly talk about the version history and releases. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.